Hello guys, today we are going to be solving the slap of CSRF Elementary with no defense in a common radiation burp suite. So let's get started. So what is a CSRF attack? So a CSRF attack is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to induce users to perform actions that they do not intend to perform. So let me explain you again what this means. This means that if an attacker wants to change your email, like it's not changing his email, it's changing your email of your account. So attacker will be able to do this, that he will be able to change something or some settings of your behalf in your computer on your account. For example, if I if you don't want to post a comment and I send you a weird link and when you click on that link, a comment is being posted on your behalf. So even though you don't you didn't wish to put that comment out, but just because of the CRF vulnerability, you unfortunately just posted that comment and that comment was obviously as per the hacker's choice. So let's get started. So how does CSRF work? So for a CSRF work to work, there should be three things, a relevant action. That means something you should do something like for example, a change, you're changing your username, you're changing your email, you're posting a comment, a action that you did something. A cookie based session handling. That means that firstly, when you log inside using your password and username, then what will happen is that the server will give you a cookie. Okay, that cookie is that the session cookie and this session cookie will only be known by you. So no one else knows the session cookie and this is how the server actually identifies you that yeah, this the person with this session cookie are you and all the actions done by a person with this cookie set is on your account. So this is how it is and no unprotected request parameters. So we'll be taking a deeper look at this when I'll be explaining you. So let's get started on the lab. So this is the lab and we need to do email. We need to change the email, right? So let's just log inside. Okay. Let me log in as Vina and Peter. Vina and P-E-T-E-R, Peter. Log in. Okay, now there is an update email form over here, input over here. You can clearly see that whatever I type in will be updated. So for example, if I type yo you at the gmail.com and if I update my email, you will see the email has been updated to yo yo at the gmail.com. Now let's try yo yo one at the gmail.com. And before I update this, I'll just intercept the request in between. So oops. I okay you need to set up a burp suite as well so you need to go to preferences general then over here in network and yep and get to the manual proxy configuration or you can use foxy proxy so again let's just change this rather than yo-yo1 let's do yo-yo2 at this time let's keep our interceptors on and once I send this update email you will see over here is that there is a email over here Okay, and I'll send this to the repeater. And now if I'll just click the interceptors on or like it will just toggle and make it off and it will automatically forward it. So as you can clearly see now the email has been changed to yo yo to at the gmail.com. Now what I want is that using this same session cookie over here, whichever person who comes here, like whichever person who wants to like change his email if you send this email request to the user then this email request will go by his session cookie thus changing his email so rather than yo yo if i want to change it to attacker so even that will happen so for community edition let's see how it is done so for community edition you need to write your own html page so you can just copy this and i'll just make a file for you guys touch um, csrf.html yep that's nano this and let me paste it here so, so i'll explain you what is happening for html page html html and there's no need for head the body is over here now form is where we take input okay form is like whatever we do it's like form and there is input inside and the action which we are going to do action like what we are going to do in this right we need to do some action right so what we are going to do the action which we are going to do 
is that we are going to go at this place this website right here and over here in this website what action we are doing is over you can clearly see over here it's my account slash change email that is the link at which we are going okay and the method is post I guess if you'll see it clearly you can see over here the method over here is post post yeah now I guess you can see this better now you can see the method is post and now the input type is hidden now I will take the input right so the input type is hidden that means it won't be showing up on the screen of the user so that he doesn't need to put any input and the value of that input will be whatever I want so what do you want to keep it let's keep it um, let's leave it like this pond at the rate user.net or let's just do pond as a user at user.com let's change it to this thing okay and document.forms.submit will automatically submit the form so let me again explain you what is happening we have made an HTML page that will automatically submit the value of email with this value and whenever user clicks on this there will be a post request just like this sent to where is it yep sent to this place cool so I hope you explain this and one more thing then you need to go to exploit server and put it in the body section and store it and once it's done you can just click on view exploit and you can see the email has been changed amazing right <laughs> so just on clicking on that the email change so now let's also do this let's deliver it to the victim so what do you need to solve the lab okay I guess we have solved the lab right we did change the email yep yeah the lab is solved now for the last condition as well I'll explain you this that why is there no unpredictable request parameter so in this request only just imagine that there was a parameter like email is equal to this and old password is equal to something now when there is an old password we don't know the old password right when they are we and we are sending this to the other user we don't know the value of this old password so this is an unpredictable request like unpredictable parameter sorry that we cannot guess this right how will we know the par old password of the another user so since we do not know this that that like we cannot create a csrf attack because we don't know that value so there should be no unpredictable request parameters cool so I guess this explains it and next I'll be solving the this one like whichever ones the next yeah this one yeah so I hope you like this video like and subscribe and I'll see you next time